hello from slide nerd and hello from waves what's up guys what's going on in this vid we are going to start with something new called series the first and the simplest of them being pi equals to this blah 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 as you can see this goes on infinitely we have to ask the user how many numbers he wants so that we can generate something for pi right so let me go ahead and show you how the output looks like enter the number of terms you say 2 in that case it's going to calculate 4 minus 4 by 3 which is over here the first two terms of this if the user says 3 we go 1 2 3 if the user says 4 we go 4 and so on right so let's go ahead and see, and see how this thing works remember more terms is going to be more accuracy so you have to make sure that the user enters some good value and it, it completely depends on him I mean you can't control the user right so here you have pi equals to 4 by 1 minus 4 by 3 4 by 5 and it goes on alternately now there are certain things you need to observe now let's break this down into several pieces and try to understand what each piece stands for so here the first step I'm gonna break it like this keep all the plus sign outside put all the minus sign inside brackets as you guys can simply see each of these terms is reversed 2 and 4 are reversed right so now if you see the first time it's 4 by 1 it is 4 second term is minus 4 by 3 third term is 4 by 5 fourth term is minus 4 by 7 now if you guys observe 1 3 5 7 these are odd numbers right so we need odd numbers from 1 and they should go up all the way to the number of terms the user wants right like if the user wants three terms we need 1 3 and 5 to be generated for us right that's how things work again if you notice one more thing the second term and the fourth term are negative that is the even terms are negative and the odd terms are positive right that's pretty simple we can observe this so let me go ahead and show you the algorithm for this generate the odd numbers 1 2 7 or whatever change the sign for the odd numbers and the even numbers so initially since the first value is 1 over here I'm gonna start with odd equals to 1 alright and I'm gonna start with pi equals to 0 I'm gonna assume that initially when the user enters nothing the value of pi is 0 right so I'm gonna say current term is 4 by odd everywhere it's 4 by 1 4 by 3 4 by 5 forget the sign for now we are not we are gonna talk first without the sign and then we're gonna put the sign inside so it's gonna be 4 by odd right because 1 3 5 7 odd then I'll say if term is odd then that means it's 4 by odd otherwise it's minus 4 by odd right now we are considering the sign by saying an if else condition we are checking if it is odd then put positive otherwise put the negative symbol exactly and now we simply go ahead for the for loop till user enters the number of terms and we simply have the pi value we keep adding the current term initially first pi is 0 then we added 4 by 1 then we added minus 4 by 3 then we added 4 by 5 and that is what this statement does pi equals to pi plus current term so if you guys have understood this there is one more thing in this step which I have not given you have to increase odd by 2 each time right otherwise you won't get 1 3 5 7 in the order perfectly so let me go ahead and net beans get this baby up and running so here in NetBeans I have nothing just a plain empty project there is a buffered reader for taking input from the user I ask the user enter the number of terms he says something blah 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 I take reader dot read line this gives me a string I convert that string into an integer using integer dot parse int and store that in this variable called number which is of type integer so now that you guys are done with this if you haven't seen the buffered reader widths you can check them out on my playlist where I've covered everything about how buffered reader takes input so now let me go ahead I'll say int odd equals to 1 initially double pi equals to 0, 0.0 now remember this thing pi is gonna have fractional stuff 4 by 3 4 by 5 and all stuff like that so we need a double for this that would be the best thing I'll separate them on separate lines and next now for one term what we do is something like this we say int double current term initially we assume the current term to be zero right but then if uh, let me put a for, for loop first I'll say for int i equals to one loop through all the terms that is if the user wants four terms find for the first term calculate for the second term and so on right for that I'll have the for loop I'll say int i equals to one i less than uh, equals n o i plus plus right inside this I'll say current term is 0 now what I need to check is I need to check something right it is going to be 4 by odd you guys know that very well this is going to be the current term right we are gonna say current term is 4 by odd but remember the first term is positive the second term is negative and so on right that means the 
the odd terms are positive and the even terms are negative in nature so let's go ahead and do that we'll say if the current term i represents the number of terms right i is one then i is two so on so if i is even that is how do you say that if i is even or not simple divide by two find the remainder if that is zero that means it's even otherwise it's odd if it is even i'm gonna say current term is gonna be negative right remember minus four by three minus four by seven this is the part which we are doing now otherwise it's gonna be positive i'm gonna say current term is four by odd it's positive this time right so with that being said we need to increase odd by two each time i'm gonna say odd is odd plus two and last but not the least we need to add this current term to the pi value right i'm gonna say pi is pi plus current term right so now let me go ahead and print this system dot out okay at this point we are done let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 enter the number of terms one it's gonna be four shift f6 enter the number of terms two it's gonna be 3.0 hmm that's not what we want it's four minus four by three which is 2.667 something like that so hopefully uh, we'll, have, we'll have to type cast this thing to double over here here again you'll have to type cast because four is an integer odd is an integer and integer division gives you non double number right i mean you don't get a number with fractional parts so we need to put double over here to type cast this control s shift f6 enter the number of terms two as you guys can see 2.667 let me go ahead and run this for more terms something like 10 okay now we are getting 3.04 uh maybe 100 3.13 2000 uh, there you go at 2000 terms we probably get something very close to pi so this is how the value of pi is calculated i hope you guys understood something out of this vid it's a pretty straightforward simple vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day